More news coming out of this year's San Diego Comic-Con, as during the Toys That Made Us panel, it was announced that Ghostbusters would be among the licenses featured in the show's upcoming seasons. While fans have no doubt been eagerly awaiting an episode dedicated to Kenner's The Real Ghostbusters, the biggest surprise is that the focus will instead be an all-encompassing look at Ghostbusters toys over the last 40 years. This includes not just the animated inspired exploits, but collectibles based on the franchise's big screen adventures. Additionally, there will also be a segment on Shaper's competing Filmation's Ghostbusters toy line. So uh, let's go Ghostbusters! While it's a bit too early for a specific air date, we do know that Ghostbusters will be included in Season 5. In fact, right here, this is a list of upcoming episodes, with Season 4 including a look at superhero toys, Nerf, Pokemon, and American Greetings. After that, we've got Season 5 consisting of Hot Wheels, Ghostbusters, Polly Pocket, and Fast Food Toys. Hmm, we're actually kind of curious, could Ghostbusters also appear in that episode too? We do hope to have more information as it becomes available, and of course, for more news and reveals coming out of San Diego Comic-Con, keep posted to Ghostbusters News and right here to our YouTube channel. And in keeping with Comic-Con, as shown earlier this weekend, Mondo is set to soon offer fans high-end collectibles based on the real Ghostbusters cartoon series, comprised of classic characters and villainous nightmare-inducing ghouls. And given that we've yet to actually make a video confirming the price point, yes, the Mondo exclusive collector sets, they're going to go for $202 a piece. Pre-orders for Peter Venkman and Sam Hain are expected soon as it will be released this fall, followed by Egon Spengler and The Boogeyman, which is expected in early 2025. Alternatively, for those looking to collect just the core team, each of the Ghostbusters will be sold as a solo release. While going this route does forego the franchise's villainous mainstays, numerous pack-ins will still be included, in particular the Proton Packs and the companion size Ghosts. Expected to be more readily available than the bundles, we hope to have pricing info on the solo figures shortly. Now with all that said, I'm going to hit you with two different questions here. First and foremost, who is excited for a Ghostbusters-centric episode of The Toys That Made Us? And second, with the price point now available, who out there is planning to pick up Mondo's collector sets when they become available? Comment down below, let us know. As always, again here, be sure that you're subscribed. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is down below in this video's description, and we'll see you right back here next time. <laughs>